Okay, to insert a table in a Google Doc, you'll go up to Insert, Table, and then select the number of columns and rows that you want to start out with. We can always add or remove some later. In fact, if you right click, this is where you can insert or delete rows and columns. And then if I go to Table Properties, I can change the table border color. Uh, here's a little tip. If you select the same color as your page, it will actually hide the table and you can do some unique uh, text formatting that way without people knowing that there is a table. I can change the individual cell background color and then change the alignment of how my text appears within each cell. If I select multiple cells at once and then right click, I can actually merge the cells. And so this is how, if you've ever seen a Google Doc um, that doesn't have a, a perfect table with um, identical rows and columns, this is how that's done by just merging those um, cells together. Okay, so inserting a table in a Google Slideshow actually works the same way. I'll go up to Insert, Table, select the number of columns and rows that I want to start with. Here though is where it will start to look a little different as far as um, it's a little bit easier to drag the cells around when you're in a Google Slideshow. Um, I can still select multiple cells, right click, merge cells down the side. I can do the same thing um, when I right click. I can insert and delete. And then in the Google Slides, with my table selected, if I come up to the top with and select the little pencil line color, that is actually where I can change the color of the lines in my table. And then the next one, line weight, I can make those a little bit thicker or thinner if I need to. And that is how you insert a table in a Google Doc and in Google Slides. And be sure to visit me at talktechwithme.com for more.